Yes, my name is Anthony Lewis Warrior. I was born in Pawnee, Oklahoma, and it was 1976. Currently, right now, I'm a HR director for the Nebraska Indian Community College. I also uh, run my own uh, consultation business with uh, food sovereignty projects. 2019, I did decide to come back and uh, kind of brave the educational journey again. So that's kind of what I was doing. And my, my typical day at the time was I had just left a major uh, casino as a chef and I was trying to make my way back into uh, casinos in another state. And uh, I got kind of uh, pulled back towards the family ways. Uh, my, my wife and myself, uh, we were married for a year and then we ended up having our first child. And uh, taking a step out of the casino um, was a big change from being the workaholic, then concentrating on a new daughter, which I, I barely saw. You know, I barely saw her for the first year of her life and uh, kind of came to a standstill except for the realization that that's what she needed, you know, for that developmental years. So the, the staying point was seeing that my mother had, you know, she aged and seeing some of the struggles of maintaining a daily life on a farm uh, and just kind of being asked if uh, it would be any option for me to kind of stay around with my family. And and I knew her intentions also was to keep my, my wife and child grounded while I was trying to rule the world. <laughs> and so she did a very fantastic job of painting a picture of, of uh, really needing my help. And then I did get talked into from, from my very loving wife that uh, you're too smart not to have a degree, you know. And so looking back into the educational process was just another um, reason for me to kind of keep my feet grounded so that I could have something to show my, my, child, my child at the time, you know. So right before that, really saying we're going to be heading to Washington State to go interview for a chef position. And... I had already been informed to come up there and to do it, and I just needed to set the date. So that couple weeks of really sitting still, um, I was ready to jump and just go. Even if my wife and child uh, was going to stay there with my mother while I went and did this adventure. And then right at that, probably about the, the one-month period, uh, my wife revealed to me that during the year that I was working with, with the child uh, of us just being married and, and bring a child up and me leaving before she's awake and coming home when she was already asleep, she revealed to me that, you know, she was she thought about leaving me within that time. And that's another mark where you say, I'm not going to fail because that's not what I do. So that that would have been one of the most dramatic turning points for me during that time of figuring out what uh, what I needed to do. There are people who care for you and they're constantly worried about you. And then looking over at your, you know, your one-year-old daughter and saying, you know, listen, you, you've got to make more time for this person. You've got to be there because you, you don't need to be the absent father. And other part about being kind of cooped was staying busy I had to constantly and it drove him crazy because I just uh, I won't say picking fights but just picking at somebody <laughs> why is this here why is that there you know and <laughs> how come is this is over here why you know why are we disorganized why do we got so much stuff you know and <laughs> my mother kept saying you leave them alone you leave us alone <laughs> I'd go downstairs and go oh, just breathe <laughs> Um, but on the, on the other side, uh, one thing that keeps me sane in today's world is I'm actually do catering. I still cater quite a bit. That's my passion. That's my drive. Um, the HR work is the psychological side. That's the part that I, um, I value, uh, and being worth, have that self-worth. But if, if honestly, if I had to quit catering, you know, cold turkey, uh, it, I'd probably be having the twitches and <laughs> my, my, my family would be probably more miserable with me around. <laughs> And I'm still a workaholic, um, but I've, I'm learning that balance a lot better than uh, mm -hmm. when I did. And uh, honestly, every time uh, I used to cater, it was for my own glor glory. You know, it was, it was for my uh, worth. But now every time I pick up a gig, I'm excited to do it because that adds to my family. Support for Facing a Changed World 
An Oral History of the COVID-19 Pandemic, comes from the Margaret Ann Martin Everest Foundation, the Kind World Foundation, Humanities Iowa, the friends of Siouxland Public Media, and listeners like you.